Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. And as you can see, we're in the middle of a battle. This is the battle that we ended on on the last episode. And at the moment, I'm trying my best to, to win against odds which are not in my favour. If we can take one or two of these units out, we'll have a good chance. But we don't have many men, as you can see. We have eight Hindu musketeers and 13 Bagheer infantry, so we are outnumbered. And I'm probably sending my camels to certain doom here as well so and we are being flanked by these these men behind us so we need to turn our attention to our our rear just trying to take out as many Mughals as I can I don't want to lose provinces it's one thing I don't want at the moment in this campaign oh we have we've got them broken our men are somehow still alive which is good but we're losing the province, as you can see. So, this isn't good as well. If we can try our best to defend this right here, we may have an outside chance, but I do sincerely doubt it. At this stage, we've lost our camels. I don't think they're going to come back in this battle. There they are fleeing at the moment. Did their job, they did shatter the enemy there. Pity they're not broken though. At the moment we have guns going back and forth against the Tufangis Mughal rebels. 8 and 11 versus 56, so we're outnumbered heavily. I suppose I could use. I think I will. I'm going to move these men to the armory while these men do their best to attack. At least that gives me a little bit of defence. I'm keeping an eye on my my camels. They may come back. Looks like they they're wavering. Or I should say they are coming back. Are they? It's fine. Yep, they've come back. And they're drawing the men away, which is what I'm happy about at the moment. Let's bring them to this mount. Maybe we can use them in an effective charge. We'll find out. Amazingly, we have... I did see the flag flash white moment ago so maybe the Mughals are yeah they are wavering there they are doing excellent so far my men doing excellent against terrible odds my camels just don't care at the moment <laughs> just casually walking I want them to run up this mount here and then we will hit them with a surprise charge down the mountain try to take them out if we can these men are shattered don't know if they'll come back I'm gonna speed this up slightly because we're doing very well and we've actually defeated these men here so well done to my loyal men now I gotta make a decision right these men camel gunners a shame. I need to take the fight to them so I may as well move this unit of infantry out from the building. I'm going to keep these guys inside for now, just in case they come back. I have some sort of defence there. How are my camels doing? We're going to have to do a camel charge against camel gunners, which is not good. Not good at all. Turn around and give them a charge. Try our best to weaken them. Not much of a charge. Double speed. Oh, we just lost a lot of men. <laughs> it won't even make it, I don't think. Nope, they've lost. That's a shame. I hate battles like this. I suppose I could just defend and stop them from... Stop them from actually... I don't know, do anything. But I'm just gonna fast forward this. It's a very quick battle. I can't see... Me winning this battle, to be honest. I have camel gunners over there, which I'm worried about. And these men are coming back as well. Look at this. Crafty, crafty, crafty. They've got to do it in the allotted time. Um, it's only been 10 minutes in this battle so far, so... That's not good either. But oh well. We have men on the rooftops. With their backs turned, which is not a good tactic. By any means. Now. Bring these men forward. 
march them forward to this mount over here. I'll bring them a bit closer when I do get nearer. And perhaps we can take out some of those camel gunners. But it's a very big ask. The only good thing in my favour is that they've got a lot of chevrons. They are very experienced men. And now we have these men coming back. And we've rubbed them again. <laughs> so, proven a good decision to keep these men uh, in this building. Because it's sort of defending them at the moment. Uh oh. And I should have been paying attention to these guys over here. Oh well. <laughs> and we've lost today as well. Okay, six men against too many. And I can't see us winning this battle, so I'm just going to go all out charge. Because there's nothing better to do than to go out in a blaze of glory. Here they come. It's coming now. Bang, 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 and we'll be dead. There we are. And we are dead, and we have lost. So. Not a very good battle. We didn't have many troops in this battle, to be fair. We were heavily outnumbered. Well, I wouldn't say heavily. They had four units and we had three, but my three units weren't full units at all. As you can see, we only had 55 men to begin with, but, uh, you know, it happens. And unfortunately, we've lost this province, which is the last thing I need at the moment in this campaign. Things are starting to go badly wrong. I'm hoping to hit a decisive victory against them and then they start clawing their way back in. Which is never good. We are recruiting some units. We do have some funds as well. Left over. I can't see them attacking some of these provinces now though. Do have some fairly decent numbers. A couple of units of militia will do. I'm not bothered about the qualities, the quantity at the moment for me. Make sure I'm recruiting units in every part. Got a spy there. Uh, we could probably do with. Okay, get a mob unit. Why not? Um, a camel gunner would be nice. Oh, wrong one. Well, we are recruiting a camel gunner. We'll get a unit of militia as well to reinforce. And this has gone as well. Maratha rebels. Uh, I'm going to need to strengthen my borders. What have we got here? Don't have much in the way of troops. We will go for some Hindu musketeers. We'll go for three of them. We do have some reinforcements nearby. And I think I'll probably do for this turn. See if anything interesting happens in this end turn phase. The last couple of episodes of this campaign have gone a bit downhill. I think our problem has been that we've expanded way too quickly. And what that means is that many of the towns and cities that we've captured have revolted against my leadership, against my faction. And it's taken me a long time to actually win them over, to win their support. So we're not only fighting on one front with the Mughal Empire, but we're also fighting against rebellion as well. Which is never a good thing in a total war game, but it does happen from time to time. As we go through an excruciatingly long end turn phase, or at least it would have been a few years ago without the patches. It's still fairly long, as you can see. The Mughal Empire makes its moves around the campaign map. Wondering how it's going to win back its lost territories. And shortly we'll be back with our turn. And here we are, back on the campaign map. My faction back under my control. And we have now got to look at ways to expand and take out our lost territories. I'm thinking that maybe we could take Bengal first. But we need a bigger army, a much bigger army. It seems I can only recruit camels in this part. Uh, we do have some units nearby though. Bring them a bit nearer to reinforce. That will do me the world of good up there. We can take this up here, surely. 
one unit. I could take this with one unit of cannon, possibly three units. Yeah, definitely. Surely, you'd think that I should be able to take out one unit of bow with four, and that still doesn't keep them from revolting against me, which is good. That's what I want. I can perhaps take some of the units from there and some of the units from here or here. Probably here. What's the. Oh, they're very happy with me. I haven't even got them on tax, so we will recruit militia and a couple of camel gunners. I can probably afford to take some of these units out. I probably want to replenish first, though. Matter of fact, I'll replenish all of these units first. Um, I am always wary of my zone and what they're doing in the south, but we can't rely on that for now. I think we need to keep replenishing again and recruiting. We could do with a general, actually. I haven't got the right kind of troops to recruit a general. Or should I say I don't have the funds? No, I can't recruit a general at this time. Well, that's fine by me. I uh, assume we'll take that. I need to start thinking about this army. I have mob units mainly, a couple of bowmen. It shouldn't be too difficult to defeat, but you'd never know in a total war game. So we will replenish what we have here as well. We are recruiting one unit there. What I think we will do because they do like us a little bit over here. Can we take two units out? I think we can. We can also take out two of these as well. So we get a fairly formidable army. And it's not costing us too much as well, I think. So, um, army I want. They're recruiting. I don't want to weaken them too much, of course. Uh, I will give them another unit. I'm thinking that then they can move forward. i got to be careful that they don't start trying to pick me off with some of these forces of theirs, but we are recruiting some units in some of these provinces. Um, two units there, four there. I oh, can't believe I lost that province. I'm still, still disappointed I lost that province. It's a big blow. Set me back a few turns, that has. Unfortunately. And. Is there anything else around here? Don't know. They like us pretty much over here, though. I need more infantry units. That's one thing I need. Infantry. Oh, I can't recruit anything. I can send one unit of infantry straight over. Hopefully they won't get picked off by this army. And we'll end turn there and we'll see what happens. At the moment, it's nip and tuck time though. We don't have that much funds available to us. So a lot of the mustering of armies that I'm doing at the moment is basically bringing one unit from one army or one province to another province and vice versa. So I'm not recruiting proper units. I'm taking weary battered units and bringing them to another army and the worst part is I think I am trading with quite a lot of people so I think that's the problem with this Maratha campaign is that if you expand too quickly then you kind of go in ahead of the funds you have so it's like um, I don't know, it's like well, the, the phrase your brain is too quick for your mouth and I suppose our this campaign has been too quick for our mouth in, in that respect. I think that's the quote anyway. Basically we've gone way too quickly. If I'd taken a few more turns to take care of my army then perhaps I wouldn't be in this situation now but this is Total War. Every campaign is different and that's the beauty of the game. Wurttemberg is destroyed. That doesn't affect us at all. I want to go for these bastards, but unfortunately, I can't at the moment. I'm going to have to 
battered through this army as well, and they got like our cannons. <laughs> it's not ever a good thing for us. Right, I think we can take this province. Oops. Infiltrate. Uh, not my agent, no, my army. Give me my army, correct. Uh, demand surrender. I don't want surrender. I think we can auto resolve this. Surely we'll win this with auto resolve. Oh, hey, we won. Excellent day. That's what I wanted. Region captured. So all is not lost after all. Exempt these buggers from tax. Repair that straight away. I'm going to have to start recruiting straight away as well. Bring my agent in. See if that helps my our, our taxation at all. Oops, zoomed out a little bit then. Uh, this army, we've got another unit we can bring into this army. These guys will almost be ready to try to recapture that region over there. Um, they sit in tight there at the moment, that's fine by me. I keep them at bay with this army anyway. I should be able to. We need to think about taking Bengal. If this army's in the way and they have cannon. I am going to ship and I can just sail around, but unfortunately, I can't do that at the moment. I need to be recruiting more infantry type units into this army. I try and build a decent army here I think and take my time to try and take Bengal. I can probably take Hindustan first. Four units there and two outside with cannon. Um, see I, I could... they've only got one unit there so I could probably take them out anyway. We are replenishing here of course. It'll take us quite a few turns. We are recruiting as well. I'm thinking perhaps we should start uh, moving a few of our troops from the south now to the north. Some cannon as well. Just shipping these units all over the place at the moment. <laughs> like I said, it's my plan. I plan all along. <laughs> well, not quite all along, but I think you know what I mean. By doing this, it saves the time to recruit and replenish all the time. Keeps them busy. I have so many provinces I need to be thinking about rebuilding things as well, which I haven't been doing. And this army can... Cannon plus six units. We're up against seven. I have no cannon available to me. I could take this cannon. Actually, I'll take this cannon because it's got 14. And they'll still be fairly happy. Now, this army is prepared, I think, yep, definitely, to attack and take the Maratha rebels, can need that province as well. And that's it for this turn, I think. Um, let's just double check everything. Recruitment, could recruit here, is there need? Not really. Armies. We'll take another uh, gunman. We'll end turn again and see if anything interesting happens in this end turn phase. So we lost one region and we regained another, which is always good. When you recapture a province. It is a shame though that I did lose that one province. I was outnumbered and and unfortunately it didn't go my way, but that's what happens sometimes. It's my own fault, I probably should have been prepared. And that's the only thing... I've enjoyed this campaign quite a lot actually, because it's nice to focus on one area of the map, like India, rather than being one or two theatres of war. And, um, and I've enjoyed it, but one of the things which I haven't quite liked so much is the the kind of battles you fight in is always like three units against three units or four units against four units. You don't tend to get the big full stack armies that you would get in Europe. That's probably because of the funding in this part of the map as well. It's a very poor region. India, of course, is a poor country. Um, well, some parts of India anyway. So I guess it does make sense. So we can get a general. I'm not going to do that though. Don't see the need quite yet. Um, these guys, they can just go above the border here because I'm going to make a, 
an army to terrorize them with. I think that should be enough. Oh, surely that's enough. I have cannon, I have cavalry, and I have infantry. I'm always wary to not leave them too. Um, I'll just go. I'm going to give them another unit just in case. These guys are going to march north. For me, these guys up here. I need to hold on to this region, otherwise, we have another rebellion. Going down slowly, but I need a lot more than this. Can't rebuild much or build anything. And I go for a mob unit and a camel gunner. And we have this army now approaching. Should get here soon. Or one more turn at least. Hopefully, we can take that province as well. Um, I could just march an army there now and defeat them, but I'm too scared. <laughs> That's what it comes down to, being scared. Four units here. I do have some units on the way. Here is one of them. I want to make sure. don't want to leave any stone unturned. That's why I'm bringing a lot of these troops over to Bengal, uh, not Bengal, Bengal, Orissa and Kikars, or Sikars. Not quite sure how to pronounce that, but they're all making their way over there. Um, this army's going north, taking Kash Kashmir. I'm going to end turn, I've got quite a bit of money left over though. I'm thinking I probably should be recruiting just a few more troops. Uh, probably another mob unit over here and Punjab could probably do with another one. Oh, look at the troops I can recruit in Punjab. Um, don't spend too much, let's go for a Sikh warrior. End turn. This part would be a bit longer because Tuesday's episode was a very short one, I think it was like eight minutes long, so it probably wasn't, probably wasn't given justice to this campaign with a video that size, so I'm going quite a bit longer this time. Just like my old schedule when I used to do 25 to 30 minute videos. It's a nice chunky part with plenty of campaign map, map action and of course we had the battle at the beginning as well. I was hoping to have another battle in this video but I don't think I'll be able to fit one in. Um, but we've made progress, that's the main thing. I am hoping to get this campaign sewn up in about, well, I'm thinking about 20 parts. I'd like to get this campaign finished because I haven't finished Total War campaign yet. I'll finish this one first and then I'll try and concentrate on finishing my Swiss Confederacy campaign. One, one by one I will try and be completing them all. Um, La -di, di la di la la -di, di Right. Agent detected. Better of demands Kashmir, that's never good. Kashmir is rioting as well, which is never good at all. So we will go to Kashmir first. Our first port of call. These geezers are not happy. Oops, the one that. Minus two, minus four. They're getting better though. These guys are happier, so we will take three units over. Right, we have all yellow here, which we'll do for now. Minus two. Can I afford to take another one out? Probably not. I can. There's still minus two. The lower classes. I wonder. Just an idea. Can I... That might help. Not much. <laughs> Okay, it didn't help much, but it's gone down a little bit, which is good. Now these guys can attack you. Demand surrender. Surrender refused. They got a lot more men than I anticipated, actually. Most of these are mob units. We're going to continue the siege for now, then. Was expecting. Wasn't quite expecting that much. Unfortunately, these guys can move north. Try and take this unit, this uh, settlement. This guy can. Go here along with this guy. Here we go, We're getting cannons, get all the cannons in. <laughs> I'm just gonna blow their limbs off, that's my plan. 
build a fairly strong, fairly formidable army. Break, once I break through him, I'll be able to take that province, no problem. You would think anyway. Um, I think that pretty much wraps up this video. So I hope you've all enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.